there, UTs. How are you today? And welcome back to my channel. This segment today will be in reference to, unfortunately, COVID-19. Yes, the coronavirus and the implications that it's having on the country and the personal sacrifices that we as individuals are having to have to make in our personal lives. But first, I want to thank you very much for subscribing. I want to thank the new subscribers. I want to thank you for your comments. It's been a joy commenting with you. And for those of you that does not know and you're just tuning into my channel, I want you to know that I am Love of Fragrance. And on this particular channel, I predominantly discuss uh, fragrances. I provide recommendations on fragrances, fragrances that I love and fragrances that I have in my collections and fragrances that I think that you might love to attain as well or find a love for or to develop a preference for. But anyways, this particular segment has to do with, like I said before, the coronavirus, COVID-19, but I'm taking it to a personal um, circumstance. I'm looking at it from a personal perspective because of the fact that the virus itself is affecting the country in such devastations that the food supplies, the food chains, the personalization of places or resources that we use normally attain to provide and take care of our families, our hygiene, the personal resources that we usually attain are not easily accessible currently. And that's horrible. Literally, that's horrible. And I'm coming to you today with some essentials that I feel are necessary for individuals to provide for their hygiene and resources that they probably would love to stock up on if they can locate them. Because myself, personally, I've gone into the grocery stores and some of the shelves have been completely bare for the essentials, the necessities of life. I don't know how it's affecting you in all the individual states, but here in my state, I had a difficult time just finding simple toilet tissue. So when I was able to uh, detect some, in a grocery store, which I had to go out several times and run around to many various locations. But when I located, I had to stock up on it. And they're, they're actually um, placing restrictions on the amount of quantities that you can purchase. Not only tissue, but on tissue, paper towels, water, any and everything that you might need to sustain your personal hygiene. They're putting restrictions on it. So I had to go to several locations to stock up on tissues, stock up on the essentials that I need for my particular hygiene. And I'm sure that many of you are probably encountering the same circumstance. So I just want to come to you from, with a personal experience today and expose you to some of the merchandise that I literally had the opportunity to stock up on, even though it was a challenge to attain them. I stocked up on them and it might be informative to you when I provide you the resources that I stocked up on, how important it happens to be for everyone to take into consideration that the resources that used to be readily accessible and easily attainable may not always be there. So it's nice for you to store some of this merchandise away or stock up on it because COVID-19 is here and it's real and it's affecting this world, this country, and there's a possibility you might not be able to attain these resources. This is a devastating circumstance right now and I try to take precautions and I recommend that you do so. Do also by stocking up on as much essentials that you feel that you can because, like I said before, they are not easily accessible right now. And to give you an indication of exactly what items I did found that were not easily accessible, when I located them, I had to stock up on them so I don't have to run out every day and I don't have to shop around because a lot of the shelves are bare in the central retail industries or locations that I normally frequent. But anyways, uh, the first item that I want to inform you of that I had challenges stocking up on and some of the items I stocked up on because of the precautionary measures that I felt was essential. But I'm going to just give you a glimpse of several of the, the more, well, all of the merchandise that I stocked up on. And the number one item that I stocked up on, I'm not counting them, I'm just going to show you the very first one, which was 
toilet tissue. And this happened to be Quilted Northern toilet tissue. And this one happened to be the Maker Rolls. It isn't my regular brand. This I took, I selected this one because I didn't have a choice. It was the only uh, tissue that the store had accessible and it was pretty much rationed out. Anyway, so I want you to know the first item that I felt was essential that was complicated for me to obtain when the shelves were bare. I went back several times and the shelves were bare, but I finally located some and this happened to be a northern tissue. Quilted, quilted northern tissue. So you might want to stock up on toilet tissue. And the next item I felt was essential in my resident that I could not literally phantom not having access to, which was also not accessible in many stores and the shelves were bare. But when I located some, I obtained several and it's paper towels. Something we would think that would always be available to us, unfortunately, I was thinking if food would be a short supply and some service in industries, it, it happens to be still. But I never perceived that it would be tissue, toilet paper, paper towels, paper essentials. But I stocked up on paper towels, as you can see. And this one's a good quality. So I don't know if I normally use this one all the time, but it's very beneficial right now. And I found it to be of quality. And the next item that I felt was essential to stock up on, again, variations of toilet tissue and variations of Kleenex. Yes, I had to stock up on Kleenex. Unfortunately, these are not very Oh, yes, they are. Puffs. These are nice quality um, but Kleenex. These are nice quality Kleenex. So I stocked up on these as well. I don't know how long this is going to be a affecting the country or when they're going to release the government shutdown or I understand that the standing your distance situation is going to be imminent for quite some time in existence for quite some time our lives have been turned upside down so I didn't know how long this is going to take so I stocked up on soap as you can see soap for my hygiene so I can wash my body appropriately and then I turned around and I stocked up on, these are my personal hygiene products. I'm showing you now. And I also stocked up on hygiene wash for your private area. I had to stock up on that because I went to the store and the shelves were beer. You might not believe it, even in reference to feminine hygiene products. This here is an excellent product. It kills bacteria. It kills germs. It kills odor. And it also eliminates, um, what is it, contamination. <laughs> I hate to say it. In this day and age, you never know, contagion, I guess, is very prevalent, but it's very sanitizing. It eliminates odor. It eliminates germs. It eliminates bacteria. Anything that's transmittable, this here, feminine hygiene wash, is very effective. Oh, and on with the body washes and everything, I stocked up on Dove Body Wash. This here is a Dove Deep Moisture Body Wash, which I love Dove products, but I want you to know that I did not purchase this to put in my shower to wash my body, even though I can. I purchased this to put in my hand washing a soap container, canister. I purchased it for that and I put a little bit in there and I use it to wash my hands with because hand washing soaps to me are not always beneficial to the hands. Some can be a little harsh and harmful and drying. So I purchased this to put in my soap washing decanister to soften my hands because that's what Dove does. It's very beneficial to the hands and body, but I just decided to put it in my soap decanisters that I wash my hands with over the sink on a regular basis, and that's what I utilize it for. I put some of this in there, and I utilize it for that. But I have another one here. Moving on up. Let's see. Oh, by the way, another thing that I feel is very, very important, however, it's open, so I can't turn it over all the way, but right here, I have Q-tips. I have to have Q-tips 
for my hygiene periodically for various situations and circumstances. Either way, whatever it happens to be, they get utilized in my residence. So they're very essential. Q-tips. I stocked up on Q-tips. And also, I stocked up on... I went to the truck store the other day, stocking up on merchandise, and they just happened to have this here Olay body wash. This is one of the things I definitely wanted to bring to my channel. I didn't know if I was going to include it with the hygiene essentials or not, but I'm including it with the hygiene essentials because it's excellent. It's an excellent product. It's the first time I ever utilized Olay's body wash, and it's a cleansing and firming body wash. But not only that, honey, it has a very fragrant scent to it. And I'm proud to do reveal this product to you because it smells so lovely it reminds me of Lancome's Natrix body soap but this here is a body wash and it's such a large quantity I it's like here 17 full 17.9 full ounces accessible here in this container and it smells heavenly not only that it goes on very very rich and when I first utilized it honey I feel like I was in heaven I started using this one and I will use my fragrant body gels as some type of fragrance after I finish using this one. So this will preserve my fragrant shower gels. And I can use this as a moisturization as well because that's what it does. It moisturizes the skin and it's very efficient. And I highly recommend you stock up on this as one of your essentials for during this quarantine crisis as well. And... I also have for the hygiene, definitely, we have to have our razors, definitely. This right here happens to be the Sorel Big Trimmer Razors. I bought these because you know a girl has to keep her body manicured. You know, you got to keep everything in perspective. So therefore, I invested in these here razors as well. And they're nice, nice quality. I'm not going to take it out because I've never opened it except for that little flap right there. But it hasn't really been opened. And I don't want to open it again. But anyways, these razors are very efficient for trimming all the unwanted hairs wherever you feel that it happens to be necessary. They're very sharp and they're very safe to utilize. And they're very feminine looking. They're very pretty. They come in a variation of colors as you can see and I highly recommend that you invest in these here razors to store razors in your residence during this here particular crisis uh, I think they're essential also because that's what we're doing stack stocking up on the essentials and I also stocked up on God. I didn't bring the toothpaste, but I stocked up on toothpaste as well. But I stocked up on toothbrushes. I've taken one out, but as you can see, you stock up on toothbrushes because I don't think you have a problem locating toothbrushes, but you never know. And then, okay, and I stocked up on mouthwash because of the fact that this is something that may be, always be accessible, I would think, but you never know. <laughs> and I'm also going right along here for as hygiene products. Uh, and then I get into the personalization ones. I also stocked up on uh, something I feel that is really, really essential. And that happens to be my deodorant. After I bathe and everything, this one here happens to be an older one because I've been utilizing it. For quite some time but I have newer ones and unfortunately out in the car right now but I have the speed stick lady speed stick it has a nice fragrance to it and it smells very lovely and very refreshing and I stocked up on these and going right along after I okay still with the hygiene I also invested in some Okay, after you take your shower and everything, you want to lotion your body. So, this one I've had for quite some time, but I have several new ones. And this happens to be the Medic Hydro Hydrochloric Lotion. And I have the Nutric. I have all the various fragrant lotions and everything. But I like to have something that I just enjoy using every day. And under the circumstances when we are in this here stay-at-home restrictions that we're in, 
I may moisturize myself a lot more frequently. So therefore, I picked up this one and it's a Bulgarian Rose Lotion and it also has a lovely fragrant. Now this right here, even though it has olive oil on it, get it clear now, this is a body wash. You use this in the shower. This is a lotion that you apply to your body. I do have an olive oil lotion, but I'm trying this right now because it's supposed to have a very deep sunscreen in it and everything. So therefore, I wanted something that was going to be beneficial because I've been waiting forever for the sun and summer isn't here yet. So we're still waiting. And then the next important thing that I have here happens to be... Um, I have a face moisturizer, not moisturizer, a face wash. This here is Regenerous Wolf Olay, and I wash my face with this. But when I finish washing my face with this, I had a dear loved one give me this here, Miss Dear Face Cleaner and Cleaner and Massage. So I take my face cleaner and massage, and I place this here merchandise on it. It has these here granulars inside of the product and it allows me to clean my skin deeply because the little granulars, they penetrate the surface of your skin utilizing this here mist deer and it gives me a very effective cleaning and moisturizing and skin care. And I thought that was very important so I stocked up on skin care products. This isn't the only one. And which is very, very essential in society right now, which where everyone's placing major emphasis on, happens to be um, hand sanitizer. I stocked up on hand sanitizer. I was able to locate when I first went to the store, there wasn't any in any stores anywhere. I could not detect it. I kept running around in circles, asking and looking high and low for it. There wasn't any anywhere. And it was like, Someone was looking out for me because I walked into the grocery store here one day and all of a sudden I saw two laying up on top of the shelves. I hope they're, there's nothing wrong with them. <laughs> it looked like hand sanitizer. I hope it's hand sanitizer. And it smells very nice. It's very pleasant and it's by comfort. So it isn't very inexpensive. I think it's quality, but I was surprised. It was only two. I just took whatever they had left in the store and everyone was surprised that I had it. And even the, the clerks that was working in the store, she has hand sanitizer. She has hand sanitizer because they hadn't seen anyone purchasing for, some, for quite some time. And everyone was asking for it and they were out. But these two were just laying up there by themselves like, hello. <laughs> I see you, here we are, I know what you're looking for. And I just grabbed them and went. So I was able to obtain myself some hand sanitizer. I did that, I almost given up. No hand sanitizer anywhere in the state. But anyways, let's keep going. I have quite a few more items I wanna show you, but most of the personal stuff are gonna wait for. And by the way, also I stocked up on this here sugar scrub for my feet. I have a tendency to, when I get out of the shower, I don't know if the water is hard or what, but it has an impact on my feet, and I have to always moisturize my feet, so I use this sugar, sugar scrub to soften my feet mm, at night. It's an exfoliating sugar foot scrub, and I use it at night to soften my feet sometimes because I think it's essential to try to keep your feet soft but more you know just using a lotion on my feet doesn't do it it looks like it just built up so this removes all the build up on my feet and it also is an excellent emollient and it moisturizes them very well and i love this product right here so i highly recommend this as well all these things right here i'm showing you now i highly recommend them oh and by the way going back to the face i purchased also these here since i started conducting my videos you know when you put on a little foundation I don't wear a lot of makeup. You know, I'm not really that girl, like a lot of makeup, but I will put it on periodically. And when I do, I don't like to take it off. You know, you have to put it on, you have to take it off. And so I decided that I was gonna invest, invest in Olive Olay Facial Cleansing Cloths. And I did that because of the fact that I felt that it was essential that I just, wherever I am, if I want to wipe my face off with a cloth, I can do it. And I would wash my face with these right here. And it just takes everything off. Everything. And then I can go in the bathroom and I can just wash my face again with my facial cleansing products. Such as this right here. 
and I just use my cleanser on it and you know I don't really have a lot of build up and I don't have to fight to get it off or anything or have to soak anything off it's already gone so this really simplifies the process I was using all of it quite some time ago their cleansing cloths and the prices kept going up, 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 more and more and more. And then finally, I just said, I just left all of it alone for a while. And then all of a sudden, you know, I just felt like, oh, God, I'm tired of this. I just got tired of going in there, washing and washing and washing. And whenever I tried, it's like it's more would come on there. And I wanted it to be clean thoroughly. And I wanted it to simplify. And it simplifies everything. So make sure you get you some facial cleansing cloths. It doesn't necessarily have to be these ones. But make sure you get yourself some. I'm looking for the other products that I have. <laughs> I'm missing out on a few of them. But it's, I guess it isn't important. And another thing that after I go through all the hygiene resources and everything, I have a little personal stuff I like to do to myself. And I want to introduce you to products that I picked up for that. Like I love to wear a liner all the time. I wear me a liner. I don't have to be on my menstrual. And I don't have to have any complications or anything. I just love to wear them because... I keep all of everything clean like that. I'm clean, I'm clean. I take them off when I want to. I put another one on when I want to. I'm always clean. And I highly recommend these for just everyday wear for your panty liners to protect your, your undergarments. And I highly recommend these as well. And I sustain these. And you might want to consider stocking up on these because it will be devastating for young ladies or any woman to go to the store and you don't have hygiene products, sanitary pads, or anything. So these are very efficient for that. And if you don't utilize these, whatever you utilize, I highly recommend you stack up on them. And also, I have here, we have to always take in consideration that we need our vitamin C, we need our vitamins, we need our vitamins. So therefore, when you go out, since we're in this here crisis right now, it's very important that you take all the precautionary measures that you possibly can in reference to attaining all the essential resources that you normally utilize on a regular basis. And I think vitamins are essential, just as essential as the food that you attain from the grocery store because this provides nutrients to your body and they're essential. I feel like they are because I love my vitamins. So I highly recommend that you invest and stock up on these as well. Make these an essential item in your household, the same as I have. All of this merchandise right here now, I class it as essential, essential, essential that I have them easily accessible to me. I don't like to run and chase down everything every time. I'm like, oh, I need this today. Oh, I need this. Oh, I ran out of this. And under these circumstances, you know, you if you run out, you might not be able to get it back. You're just out. You're out for maybe quite some time. So while, if you can, since we're still in quarantine and the government hasn't announced a particular day that everything is going to be reopened again, I recommend that you just go on and stock up on merchandise, whatever you need. I don't mean for you to clean off the entire shelf because everyone needs something. But get enough supply for yourself and your family, at least for maybe a couple of weeks or, yeah, a couple of weeks. That's essential. And then maybe you can order something online. But I can guarantee you, if you order it online, it's probably going to be a lot more expensive because, I, unfortunately, some people have a tendency to take advantage of crisis situations like this. And I think that's what they're doing right now, especially with the toilet tissue. I saw a pack of toilet tissue that was for $20 in the store. It must have had gold in it. <laughs> Anyways, moving right along. I have here some cotton balls, and I use these for various things. And, you know, like I use a strand on my face sometimes. So cotton balls to me are essential. If I have uh, a wound maybe that needs cleaning, I probably use a cotton ball for that. Or if not, I would use a cotton ball for this. This here happens to be my nail polish remover, and. I definitely always trying to keep my everything that a girl feel that 
is essential in her world together. And to me, this is important. Having cotton balls to utilize with my nail polish remover so I can take my nail polish off my hands, my toes, or wherever I want because I know the salons and everything are open, but I mean closed right now, excuse me. Don't go running out there. They're closed right now. But I want you to know that I was never a girl that ran to the salon all the time anyways. I've always tried to accommodate myself as much as I can because, you know, some people are on budgets and some people are not. And that's a budget to me, you know, that I can, under special occasions, I'll go to the um, nail shop. I will. Um, last time I went was for my daughter's wedding. <laughs> we went together. And um, I don't go get this. I used to get the sculpture nails. I don't do it anymore. So here I do it at home and this is what I utilize because to me, I can wear any color polish I want. I recommend you stock up on your cotton balls, your nail polish so you can handle your own manicure. And I also stocked up on myself some nail polish. This right here happens to be Orly, Orly nail polish. And this one right here happens to be Sally Hansen. I love Sally Hansen products, but I've been experimenting with Orly because it's so easily accessible and convenient and it's everywhere. And I love the color, but I love Sally Hansen. I've been with it for years. And because they have such a, so many lovely, beautiful colors. And this one here has me a very rich one and I love it. But Sally Hansen not only offer nail polish, they offer artificial nail strengtheners. They also offer artificial um, mini artificial nails. In other words, this makes your nails as hard as artificial nails, and they sell a large variation of nail products. And I utilize the majority of them by Sally Hansen, so I highly recommend this. You stock up on that as well. And after you finish your nails, I highly recommend that you also invest in some nail dryer because some of the nail polishes don't doesn't dry as rapidly as you would expect for them to. So in order to do that. You really should take into consideration that you want to dry them quickly because sometimes we're busy and we need to get things done expediently. Invest in a nail dryer. It's, just, it's very efficient. I love it. I, I do my nails sometimes before I go to bed at night. I spray this on them. I wake up in the morning, honey. I used to do them at night and the nail polish should be stuck all on my face. <laughs> Everywhere. But now I wake up in the morning and the nail polish is where it's supposed to be. On my nails, dry and looking elegant. Anyways, I have one more, no, a couple more merchandise here. Oh, and by the way, um, I have this here. This here is a Vini uh, Thermal Spring Water. And this is very refreshing. And after you wash every, all the grits and germs and things off of your body, and with the hand sanitizer and a body wash and everything, sometimes it's nice to mystify your face. And I love a great hydration on my face. And I use it this here. Uh, it's a rose, no, it's a smoothing, softening, thermal spring water spray by Avani. And I utilize this to moisturize my skin in the mornings prior to, after I take my shower and everything, and prior to doing anything else to my face. I'm not, like I said, I don't, I don't wear, this, wear makeup often, but I still spray my face every morning with some type of hydration spray. Anyways, I recommend this Aveeno spray or some type of hydration spray to soften your skin as a moisturizer or after you moisturize or before you moisturize. It's very efficient at all times. And then this is my primary go-to and you're going to find me in this every day. And again, I stocked up on my Lani lip colors again. I only brought this one in here is because it's red and I love the red color. I also have like a Marv that I love. I love pink, but here lately I just for some reason can't adapt to it so i'm not wearing it as frequently but i love the pink and i recommend you stock up on your favorite lip color as well and honey <laughs> honey 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 i just want you to know that i didn't forget about you i want you to know that out of all the merchandise i felt was essential in my resident i also felt like it was essential that i have myself a fragrance as well and I want you to know that this one, I have never, never smelled it. But I'm going to introduce you to a fragrance that I stocked up. And this happens to be Oscar de la Renta. And it's a blind guy, really. Uh, but it's beautiful. And the fragrance is, is so exquisite. Oscar de la Renta, I just have to 
purchased this because I was in a drugstore and you know they sell fragrances at the drugstore I've never purchased any there before but I saw this one and I just grabbed it because it was on sale and it was fairly reasonably priced and by me loving fragrances being love of fragrance I can't present you a video without showing you a fragrance can I now you've seen all these essentials that I felt was necessary for me to have in my possession but the most important one of all I felt was after I take care of all my hygiene essentials, it's essential that I smell lovely. <laughs> and today, throughout this here quarantine government shutdown, I am going to smell lovely in Oscar de la Renta, honey. This is a beautiful container, isn't it? Look at there, it just pops off, a little like a rose there. And the name is here, it's the Oscar de la Renta, and you just pull the cap off. I can't smell it. It's potent and I know it's very sweet. It's a garden scent because I smelled it before, not before I purchased. As you can see, they have the silicone paper on here, so I could But here, I haven't put anything on today, honey, so let's let's do this. Let's do this. Whoop. Yes. Now I smell heavenly honey. I smell like honey. Honey, honey, honey. I really smell like honey. It smells like honey. A bouquet of flowers mm. and I have to say some umber, amber and maybe some lilies or something either way it's just sweet 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 maybe some peonies I'm not sure but it's very very attractive a luxurious scent elegant very appropriate for a girl like me honey that loves to smell beautiful at all times I love this and it's very affluent very affluent. It's just penetrating. Yes. I'm going to dress myself in this, honey. That was a nice selection from the drugstore. I'm very, very pleased. Praise God. Thank you, drugstore. I looked up on it because of the quarantine and the government shutdown and all the restrictions placed on society now, which forced me to spend unnecessarily to stock up on merchandise. And I just wanted to share with you all of the essentials that I felt like was necessary in my residence. I don't know what you might feel necessary, but this is what's essential for me to have because I must have drove around one, two, three, four, five, maybe six different stores before I was able to obtain toilet tissue. That's ridiculous. And I don't like to do that. I can't live without toilet tissue. Who can? I don't know. But I don't know why they didn't have any of the stores. All I know is that a lot of people have become a certain accustomed maybe a certain lifestyle especially having an um, accessibility to toilet tissue i've never been without toilet tissue in my whole life <laughs> i was scared i was frightened <laughs> so i found me some toilet tissue and i'm like well if they don't have toilet tissue they might not have anything else later on so i stocked up and i just decided i'm loving fragrances so why not stock up on a fragrance? So I ended up with Oscar de la Renta. And I want you to know, I recommend you stock up on all these products. But more so than that, I highly recommend that you stock up on some fragrances. And if possible, if you can locate Oscar de la Renta accessible to you in your area, I recommend that you purchase it because it's a beautiful fragrance. Have